Welcome back, everyone. This is Mindy here today for Lawn Fawn, and it's that time of year where I start looking at making handmade ornaments. This time, I'm going to be doing that using the tiny gift box. Here's a quick look at all of the pieces that I'm going to be using to create the tiny gift box using the Deer add-on. I did die cut all of my pieces ahead of time off screen just to save a little bit of time. And I will be showing you a couple different ways that we are going to be able to attach our string to make this into an ornament. So there's a couple different ways we can do it and you can pick which one works best for you. I'm also going to be using the holiday hats die and there are a couple different hats in here. There's a winter hat, the Santa hat, which I have die cut there on screen. And then there's also the witch hat that you could use for any of the uh, tiny gift box Halloween add-ons. So I decided to go with the Santa hats. I uh, did die cut that Santa hat out of white cardstock and some glitter cardstock. The reason being is there is a small die to cut the little uh, ball at the end of the hat, but I lost that little die. So what I did was die cut it out of white cardstock and then I just trimmed off that little circle ball so I could still make this into a Santa hat. Now in the Dear add-on for the tiny gift box, you have the option of just leaving it as that square or you can die cut out these pieces like I have here to add the hooves, which I thought were super cute. So I did use those on my ornament. Once I have all of my pieces attached together, which I did with the Lawn Fawn liquid glue, I'm going to start working on the actual gift box itself. I'm only going to show this next part once because I will do it the same for the other two boxes that I'll be showing you. So when you use the tiny gift box die, it's going to die cut out the shape of the box and put in the score lines for you. So all you need to do is go through and fold along all of those score lines and I like to just reinforce them with my bone folder. I'm not going to attach anything just yet because I need to put a hole in the top of my box where I'm gonna put the string. So this is the first way. If you like things perfectly centered, I'm just using the Lawn Fawn ruler and I'm uh, putting little tick marks on halfway point and then drawing a line so I know exactly where the center of this is going to be. I normally don't measure things out, I eyeball things, but if you do like things perfectly centered, that's a great option for you. And then I have just a really small hole punch here to put in that hole for our string, and then I can come in and erase all of those pencil lines. Now I'm gonna go in and add the double-sided tape to four of the tabs. I just want the sides of the box to be sealed. I don't wanna seal the top because then I can add in a cute little message or some small lightweight treats. If you wanna seal it, you certainly can. You would just need to add uh, some double-sided tape to the flap to close the box. So I'm just going in, I removed that double-sided adhesive and I'm sealing up all of those sides and then just pushing that down really well with the bone folder so it's really nice and secure. Then I can add my pieces to my box. Now on my box, I do have a tail on there and if I would have had the flap in the back, I wouldn't be able to open the box. So to open my box, I'm putting that tab on this side and you'll see that here in just a moment but I'm gonna have it so the box opens from the side. I just thought that was easiest. And now I have a piece of ribbon here. Now this is pretty sturdy ribbon. If you have string, you wanna make sure that you uh, have a really small hole. So I tied a knot, I looped that together, and I tied a knot at the bottom. And then I'm just folding up my ribbon and I'm going to thread that through from the inside of the box. And then on the inside, we'll have that knot. Now that's not very attractive looking, but it does work. And I do have another way you can do this too in just a moment, but this is perfect. It holds really, really well. And now I'm gonna come in and just embellish this a little bit. I'm going to add the Lawn Fawn glitter pen to the white areas on my hat, on, also on the cheeks. I did also cut the nose of the reindeer from glitter cardstock as well as the hat. 
And then I'm taking Nouveau Crystal Glaze. You could also use Glossy Accents for this. And I'm adding that to the glitter cardstock. And this looks really, really cool when it's dry. So you definitely give this a try on any of your holiday projects. Just adding some of that either Glossy Accents or Crystal Glaze to the top of your glitter cardstock. And it's going to just be amazing. So once I do that, I'll set it off on the side to dry. I did also add a little bit to the eyes and the mouth just to kind of bring that out and give it a little bit of shine. Really cute, a lot of shine. So I'll set that off on the side. And my next one here I'm going to work on is a kitty cat. Now I did speed this portion up quite a bit just because I am just gluing things down. I did recreate that as uh, kind of a looks of a cat that I used to have. His name was Jinx, so I gave him his orange ears and an orange tail. Now for this one, we're not going to have any feet on the bottom. We're going to put some hind legs on the side of the box. I also went ahead and die cut that Santa hat out of the green glitter cardstock. So my cat's going to also have a Santa hat. You could also do a winter hat, which I'll show that piece in just a moment. And this is the second option. If you don't have any punches or dies that would be small enough, you can take a piercing tool and just poke a hole in the middle of your box. You can see I did not measure this. I'm not a real big measuring person. So I'm just going in and adding little poke holes to get that through. I did do that on top of my misty foam mat. And then I took my scissor and just kind of widened that a little bit. So it's not very clean looking in the inside, but we are going to cover that up with our ribbon. So now that I have my hole in the top of my box for my string or my ribbon, I'm going to finish decorating this. So I added the cat head to the front of the box. The tail went on that little flap that opens the box and then just attaching the hind legs. So now once again, taking my ribbon, this time I am not tying an end. Uh, tying a knot at the end. I'm just folding that in half to be able to thread that through my box. The loop is there at the top. And I'm going to pull that through very slowly and carefully, leaving a little bit of ribbon in the inside of the box. Then I'm going to uh, spread those two pieces out and I am going to add glue dots. And then I can just fold that one flap over of the ribbon to secure that down and I'll do that with the other flap. This actually is my preferred way of doing it because it is cleaner on the inside of the box and it's covering up any messy holes that I made. And it really secures it so that you can hang that from your tree. Once again, I'm just bringing in the glitter pen and adding some of that to the hat and to the cheeks. I love the little pink rosy cheeks. And then also adding on that crystal glaze to the glitter cardstock. And I'll show you a little bit of an easier way to add this to the mouth since these do get to be really tiny pieces and I was having some difficulty getting it in there. So I just took some of that and put it on a post-it note and I'm picking it up with a pin. So I'm kind of painting that on. You could also try and use a really, really thin paintbrush if you wanted to add that in there. It just adds a little bit of shine to our treat boxes. Then once that's done, I'll set that off on the side to dry and I'm going to bring in the deer box and I want to show you what this looks like when it's dry or mainly dry. So here's a close up look and I love that crystal glaze on top of the glitter cardstock. It looks like a real sticker. It is just really cool. I highly recommend giving that a try. And these are turning out so cute. They're going to look great hanging from the tree. Now I have one more box that I wanted to make. This one is going to be the raccoon add on. So you can use any of the uh, gift boxes for this, any of the add ons. Uh, that Lawn Fawn carries. These were just the ones that I happened to have and I wanted to make for my tree. Now these are so fun, like I said, to add treats to. They could be surprises if you do anything with an elf. <laughs> you could make this some cute gifts for the kids or classroom teachers. You know I'm a big fan of making treat boxes for teachers. Now this one here quick is the winter hat. I did die cut it out of some pattern paper 
And I'm adding on that little white trim, which kind of has some lines in there for the hat, which is really super cute. I did go ahead and do the Santa hat. I wanted to keep them all consistent, and I just really love using that glitter cardstock for my Santa hat, but the winter hats are just as cute. So once again, I went ahead and I folded all my lines, reinforced them with the bone folder to create my gift box. I punched that hole through the top of the box threaded my ribbon through, and then I'm using the glue dots again. I really liked this method. Like I said, it was really clean, and those glue dots are really secure. Then I can remove that double-sided adhesive and assemble my box. Now I'm just using liquid glue to attach my raccoon. I did this at the end just because then it was easier for me to work with. I That was my personal preference. You could put it together beforehand, but this was just easier for me. And then once again, adding just those small details to the box. I think these are just a great way to add little accents and really highlight and bring out the cuteness of these critters. Once that's done, I'll give you a quick look at all of the boxes I made. I actually had made four because I made one ahead of time. One of the deers had deers has the smiley eyes is what I call them. And another one has the circle for the eyes. So really great, really cute. I love how these came out and be able to personalize my gifts for Christmas, whether it's the teachers or the kids. I hope you enjoyed today's project. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.